Hey guys, I'm your host Triple C, Crimson Cobra Commander. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be showing you my top five favorite villains from either a comic book, cartoon series, or movies that were made into figures. Now, these figures are some of my favorite figures that I own. Um, villains make the heroes. The heroes don't make the villain. So that's why I always think villains are the most important part of any storyline when it comes to superheroes or heroes in general. Um, if you have a top five, put it down below. Let me know. Comment below. And make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel, please. You guys are watching my channel, but you guys aren't subscribing. Make sure you guys do that and like my channel, please. All right, first up. Darth Revan from Knights of the Old Republic. Darth Revan was an awesome villain. He conquered the galaxy. He um, had two lightsabers too, which is really cool. He came with a purple one and a red one. But uh, yeah, Darth Revan was captured by the Jedi's and then they uh, took away his memory. They wiped his memory. Uh, and uh, they turned him into a good guy for a little while. Now you had your choice by the end because you got your memory back to be a villain of Dark Revan again, or you can be um, uh, Revan of Light. But yeah, Revan had a great story arc because he conquered reality with Dark Malak. And you had a battle with Dark Malak at the end, which is either way you, you went, you a good guy or a bad guy, you had to defeat him at the end. Which is really cool. Because you can either conquer the galaxy or you can save the galaxy. What would you guys choose? Would you guys choose conquer or would you guys choose to uh, save it if you were Revan? Yeah, Revan is one of my favorite Star Wars characters. I like him better than Darth um, Vader and Darth Maul. Um, you know, some people could argue that, but you know, this is. My video. My video. <laughs> I, I do have those figures too, and I do like that video. I do like that mall a lot. But he, he's definitely my favorite. Um, my next one is from a cartoon series. It's like a comic book series. And it is one of my favorite villains that has ever been conceived of. Now, they already have another version of an evil version of this guy called Nemesis Prime. But this guy is not Nemesis Prime. He is Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. And Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, in my opinion, is one of the most ruthless villains of all time in comic book, Transformer comic books. He's killed more people than any other Transformer former besides Unicron. And I don't really like Unicron to be honest anymore. <laughs> I used to, but I, I don't anymore. Shadow Glass Optimus Prime. Um he's everything that Optimus Prime is but evil. So he's uh more evil than uh Megatron or Gavitron in my opinion. Because it's probably always been an awesome leader, and this guy is a, a, a great leader too. But he's ruthless. He's a you know a conqueror. He's I, I believe in the trial books he actually conquered the galaxy, whereas uh, Megatron has never done that. But yeah, he um, is my favorite villain of Transformers, plus. He comes with Dark Matrix, which is really cool. I mean, come on now. Dark in our latest hour. <laughs> Let's get a light in our latest hour. Alright. Now, the next three could be put in any order. Um, but the next one will be Skeletor, aka Keldor. You see him on channel before already, so. But uh, this is Skeletor. He uh, was 
he went under her stepbrother. He betrayed him. And he uh, became um, Skeletor. Now, depending on the lore you want to go with, either he get, he had ashes on his face and became Skeletor, or he uh, went to... Um, I think that did happen, though. I think that's the way it happened. He had his light on his face, and then he was dying, and then... Uh, um, Hordak saved him by turning him into Skeletor, by get, uh, making a, a demon possess, his, possess him. So, but yeah, he had an incredible arc in Masters of the Universe. He always tried taking over... Eternia, and gaining the power of Grayskull. He um, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with He-Man several times. He wasn't afraid of, you know, battling He-Man with some of these other villains that we've had in the past. You know, like, Cobra Commander was always a coward in, in the original um, series. But he he was not afraid of battling, which I really like that about him. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Skeletor? Do you want your top five? Let me know. Comment below. Give me your top five. Alright. Now my next two are two of my favorite characters of all times. I mean, probably the best characters that they've ever created in uh, either cartoons, comic books, or um, movies, in my opinion. Um, the one is Cobra Commander. Now, you just heard me right on him about the original cartoon and him being a coward, but he was a master strategist. And most of the uh, time, G.I. Joe won by pure luck. I mean, it was pure luck that they won most of the time. Or some dumb idiot that they had on his side messed up. So, yeah. And. He got more ruthless later on in the, in the series that he was in. And even in the movie, he was more ruthless. Um, the live-action movies. Which I actually liked him in it. I didn't like the movies, but I liked Cobra Commander in, in the movies. Um, and in Retaliation, he kills Major Blood. And I think... He had somebody kill a bazooka and somebody else. But yeah, uh, Cobra Commander, is he one of your top five favorite villains? Let me know, comment below. And make sure you guys remember to subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys are watching, but you're not subscribing. I, I would appreciate you guys subscribing and liking my videos. Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos, though, too, so thank you. And my last one is one of my favorite villains I grew up with. Um, he was this is the movie movie version of him, but the cartoon version is just as important to me. But this is Shredder. Orogu Saki. This Shredder, though, is a killer. He kills Humato Yoshi. And uh which is Splitter's master. And um uh, Splitter gave him something to remember him by by scarring up his face. But yeah, this is my favorite version of Shredder. Favorite costume. Now, they all had these helmets. They all had the uh, um, armor pieces on him. But uh, in the gauntlets. But this... This costume is my favorite costume of his. And um, I just love the way he looks. Shredder has always been an awesome looking character. And um, I mean, he's like a, a ninja knight. <laughs> Which is really cool. But yeah, Shredder, uh, he... Uh, Defeated the, the Ninja Turtles in the first movie. It took uh, Spritzer to come and rescue them and throw him over a building into a garbage compactor, which he still survived after that. Which 
<laughs> they just tell you how you're terribly used for inventions. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy my list? Did you guys have any of the same guys on your list? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, you guys have a great day. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys.